Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and I'm so glad you could join me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, July the 28th, and it is year one, proper 12, and week four of the psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 74, and Mark chapter 7, verse 1 to 23. <laughs> O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why, O oh God, have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. Psalm 74. Why, O oh God, have you cast us off forever? Why blaze with anger at the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people whom you chose long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your own possession, the mountain of Zion where you made your dwelling. Turn your steps to these places that are utterly ruined. The enemy has laid waste the whole of the sanctuary. Your foes have made uproar in your house of prayer. They have set up their emblems, their foreign emblems, high above the entrance to the sanctuary. Their axes have battered the wood of its doors. They have struck together with hatchet and pickaxe. O oh God, they have set your sanctuary on fire. They have raised and profaned the place where you dwell. They said in their hearts, let us utterly crush them. Let us burn every shrine of God in the land. There is no sign from you, nor have we a prophet. We have no one to tell us how long it will last. How long, O oh God, is the enemy to scoff? Is the foe to insult your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why do you keep your right hand hidden? You are our ruler from time past, the giver of help throughout all the land. It was you who divided the sea by your might, who shattered the monsters of the sea. It was you who crushed Leviathan's head and gave him as food to the untamed beasts. It was you who opened springs and torrents. It was you who dried up ever-flowing rivers. Yours is the day and yours is the night. It was you who appointed the light and the sun. It was you who fixed the bounds of the earth you who made both summer and winter. Remember this and see the enemy scoffed. A senseless people insult your name. Do not give Israel your dove to the hawk, nor forget the life of your poor ones forever. Remember your covenant. Every cave in the land is a place where violence makes its home. Do not let the oppressed return disappointed. Let the poor and the needy bless your name. Rise, O God, defend your cause. Remember how the senseless revile you all the day. Do not forget the clamor of your foes, the daily increasing uproar of your foes. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why, O God, have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come to Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands. Thus observing the tradition of the elders, and they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, the people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship, reaching human precepts, teaching human precepts as doctrines. 
you abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. And then he said to them, you have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, honor your father and mother, and whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother whatever support you might have had from me is korban, that is, an offering to God, then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother, thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like this. And then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. And then he left the crowd and entered the house. His disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then do you also fail to understand? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile? since it enters not the heart but the stomach and then goes out into the sewer and thus he declared that all foods were clean and he said it is what comes out of a person that defiles for it is from within from the human heart that evil intentions come fornication theft murder adultery avarice wickedness deceit licentiousness envy slander pride folly all of these things come from within, and they defile a person. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love that is in companionship with one another. Your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.